Hello friends, Tony here. Now in this video we are going to work with uh, filament resources, but first I wanted to show you, you can find this project in the GitHub. So if you navigate to the GitHub slash code with Tony official slash and the project name which is filament php dash version 3 dash tutorial. Okay, let's close this and let's start and work with uh, filament resources. So filament allow you to generate resource scaffolding with just a few commands. A resource can uh, represent a data model in your Laravel application, such as a database table or an eloquent model. The default model resource page is where we define the database schema and is controlling what we can see on the admin panel page. To create a resource, we need to run a command in our terminal. So let's open here and let's say php artisan make filament dash resource this is the command we need to generate a filament resource and then the name of the model so i'm going to start with uh, country country model and hit enter now successfully created the country resource this command will cr create uh, several files in the app filament resource directory so let's open the vs code let's open the app now here we have filament and as you can see we have resources and this res inside the resources directory we have the country resource php and also the country resource folder inside the country resource folder we have the create country php edit country php and list countries.php now the classes inside the pages directory are used to customize the pages in the app that interact with the resource. There are full page live wire components that you can uh, customize in any way you wish. Now if we open this country resource, first of all we need to see these two methods. We have the public static function form method which return the form schema and here we need to populate the form with our uh, fields we need and also we have a public static function tables which return a table and here we need to add the co our columns what we want to display in the table but as you can see also the form and the table are empty now let's generate the a resource for the city but in this case i'm going to say here uh, for the state first let's say state and in this case i'm going to add a flag i'm going to say dash dash generate if i hit enter and let's open now as you can see on the resources we have country resource and the state resource also country resource php and the state resource php let's open this state resource php as we can see now in this state resource php we have the form method but inside it's not empty we have the form components text input make country id which is required as and is numeric also we have a form components text input make for name which is required and max length is 255. So if you'd like to save some time, Filament can automatically generate the form and table for you based on your model's database columns using this uh, generate flag. By default, we will not uh, be able to interact with the uh, deleted records in the app. Now, if you'd like to add functionality to restore, force delete and filter trash records in your resource, we need to add also the dash dash soft deletes flag when we generate in the resource. But I'm going to leave it as it is. What I want to add also is the dash dash view flag. Well, the dash dash view flag is going to create the view page for us. So let's say now PHP artisan make filament resource for the city. So I'm going to say city. I'm going to add a generate flag and also dash dash view. Hit enter. 
Okay, now we have also the city resource, which uh, also the city resource has this text input for state ID and name. Now this state ID is going to be a relationship, but I'm going to leave it for now like this. And let's create all what we need. So let's say department and so department generate also the view and also the employees and the user hit enter okay now if we go and visit the project so i'm going to close this one and refresh as we can see here we have cities countries departments employees states and users if we go to the countries yeah here is the countries we don't have any country and you can see no countries here but if i go to this new country here we don't see the four if we go now to the states and go as you can see on the states that we have a search here because we added that flag dash dash generate and if we go to the new state we have a form with country id and name the same if we go to the cities we have the form here and if we go to the departments the same thing and of course if we go to the employees new employee here is the form and for the users now here for the users we have one user as you can see we display the name email and the email verified at and because we added that dash dash view we have this view here if i click right now we have just a name email here and the date verified at which is kind of a inputs we are going to customize that in the next videos now as you can see we all the resources here have the same icon and we can change that so let's open the first one let's open the country resource and the first thing is we have here the model dollar sign model which is the country class it is based on the name we added so the country and here we have the navigation icon property which support the name of any blade components by default uh, hero icons are installed however you may create uh, your own custom icon components or install an alternative library if you wish and for the country let's open the hero icon website so heroicons.com and i'm going to search for flag here it is and i'm going to use this just the name flag here okay so hero icon and say flag if i save see on the browser refresh as we can see now countries has a flag icon now uh, filament will automatically generate a navigation menu item for your resource using the plural label as you can see here countries if you like to customize the navigation item label you may use the dollar sign navigation label property so let's open the vs code here and let's create that so i'm going to say protected static and this as you can see here also we have a question mark up here and here and the question mark here saying is not required so can also accept a null value so let's say here string and we need the dollar sign navigation not navigation icon but navigation label which is going to be equal with let's say country here now if i save and let's see on the browser if i refresh now as you can see here we have and let's zoom it for you now we have country here 
Now also we can customize the model label. So each resource has a model label which is automatically generated from the model name. So for example, we have a user here. We have a user label as you can see. View user and so on. The label is used in a several part of the UI and you may customize it using the dollar sign model label property. So let's uh, do that. Let's customize also that. So let's say protected static and also here we need the other question mark the same string and let's say dollar sign model label and for example for this one which is country let's say employees country okay now if I save that and let's see on the browser now if I refresh Let's navigate to the country. As you can see, we have here employee countries and also employee countries right here. Now, as you can see, all of the navigation are in the same in the list here. If we want, we can group them, and that's what I want to do. And to group them, we need to use the navigation group property in the resource. So here, the same we have with the label and so on. Let's do that. Let's say protected static string and here we are going to say navigation dollar sign navigation group okay and I'm going to name it uh, system management okay if I save that and let's see right now if I refresh as you can see now we have here a system management and inside this system management group we have a country and we can close this and show now we can customize more but we we don't have uh, data right now but what i'm going to show also in this video is we can customize also the url here so by default the uh, filament will generate a url based on the name of the resource so you can customize that by setting the dollar sign slug property on the resource so let's do that let's open the resource one more time and let's say here protected static question mark string and here I'm going to use the dollar sign slack property. And we are in the resource. So let's say I'm going to say uh, employees country dash country or countries like this. If I save and let's see on the browser now, left. As you can see, we have now employees dash countries, the URL. But if you don't like that, you can say countries which is the default here yeah, right now we have 404 not found because this is not it's not existing right now so let's change back to countries and yeah here we have countries but this is the same if we remove also so it's by default countries okay friends now let's move the departments uh, states and cities in this group so i'm going to open I'm going to copy what we have here and let's open the state resource and I'm going to paste it here all of them now we can change the navigation icon the navigation label is not going to be country it's going to be state or you can say states here we can say employees states if you want but i'm going to remove the employees and just say states here and the navigation group is inside the system management it's going to be inside the system management let's save let's do the same for the city so let's come up here and let's paste that in Let's change that to be city. And also here, I'm going to say city, not the employees city. System management is going to be the navigation group. And the department is going to be the same. So let's remove that. P 
pizzat in, say department. Also here I'm going to say department. And the navigation group is going to be in the system management. Let's save and let's see on the browser now. If I refresh, and yeah, as you can see, we have a city, country, department, and state. But it's not ordered how I want. For example, I want the country to be up here. Then we I want state, then city, then department. And we can fix also that with the filament. And as I said, the country is going to be the first one. So let's go. Okay, so here now, let's say protected static but now we don't need a string we need to add an integer integer dollars a navigation sort which is going to be equal with uh, one because we are on the country resource and as i said the country is going to be the first one if i save and let's see on the browser now take a look to the sort here if i refresh the country now is at the end because it has this sort, but the others don't have. If I copy this and paste to the state resource now and change the value from 1 to 2, save, go to the city resource and change the value here to 3. Save, now let's go to the department resource and do the same thing change the value to 4 for this one save come here and refresh now we have country state city and department okay friends that's it all about this video how to use the resource on filament and how to customize that all the best and don't forget if you like such a video Subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best.